Okay, so today I thought I would talk to you a little bit about my Rubik's Cube. It's a Go Cube, which is a pretty neat little machine. Uh, you can hook it up to an app on your phone and play little games. Uh, you can test your times, you can compare your times out into the world. It's a, a neat little connected Rubik's Cube. Really, really smooth, spins super easily. Um, I've been trying to play with it for a few weeks and I just haven't quite gotten it down yet. I don't think I want to do this on camera though. I think I'd be a little bit too embarrassed to run through a Rubik's Cube while on video. That, uh, that seems a little bit daunting at the moment. So how about we put that to the side and instead we talk about the pirate box that I mentioned yesterday. So this is a box that I got from uh, the Pete's Pirate Life, which is Peter McKinnon's secondary site. And I actually mentioned to my wife that I thought it was pretty cool and she ended up buying it for me, which is super sweet. Inside is a coin, but what's really neat is there's a puzzle box on the inside. And so open the outside box, open the inside box, get the coin. So we'll go through that real quick. First things first, you slide the edges open and you get to the inside portion of the box. One thing that's pretty cool, if you can't figure out how to open the box or the, get the puzzle on the inside, there's a little business card that I guess you could pull off. I have not done that yet. We'll take a look at that over here on the, uh, the little screen. I did end up setting up a GoPro on a Gorillapod. It's not an overhead rigging system, it's not super fancy, but it definitely works. So I'm probably gonna do a little bit more in this edge camera here while we're talking this through. So anyway, once you have this open, there's a little tab at the bottom. You pull that, and on the inside is yet another box. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that real quick. It is a little wooden box with a pirate logo on it. You'll notice there's pirate logos everywhere, right? So that's kind of the Pete's Pirate Life brand. There's little pirate logos here, and there's the coin probably has a pirate on it too. So let's take this out. Close that back up and then we'll deal with the pirate box so again it's just a cute little pirate box not a whole lot to it one thing you'll notice is there doesn't appear to be very many seams and so the question is how do you get this thing open um, you can't just pop it off these little outside ribs don't move uh, there's no apparent opening here but you can see on this end there are actually edges so if I come back over here and show, there's no obvious edges or ridges anywhere. There's nothing on that side that seems to open. There seems to be the coin inside just sort of floating about in there, which is kind of cool. But again, if you look really closely on this side, you can see that there are little itty bitty edges kind of right there. There's a cut right over here. There's a cut. So that's probably the key to this. So, well, that was super simple. It's not meant to be a complicated puzzle, obviously. Uh, they want you to get into the product that you actually bought. But anyway, you just hold here on the edges, pull that open. Now I have my box and I have my coin. So first things first, there's a little leather pocket that comes with it, which you're gonna have a hard time seeing there because I've got that in manual focus. And then I'll go over here, show this off over here. A little pirate leather case. And then the star of the show is the actual coin. Oh, I guess it goes that way. And then on the back, there is the same logo that's on the front of the box. It's a ship being attacked by the Kraken. So we can come back over here, take a look at that. And flip that over. Yeah, so that's it. The, uh, the little Pete's Pirate Life coin. I thought it would be really cool to incorporate it keep it as part of some pictures I was planning on taking. Um, I don't know. I was inspired, generally speaking, to start making videos because of some of the things I've been watching on YouTube, specifically the Peter McKinnon channel, uh, Maddie Hopoya's channel, uh, and a couple of others, just inspiring me to do some interesting camera work as opposed to just sitting in front of a screen and talking very dryly and pointing over my shoulder at the occasional math video that pops up over there or the occasional equation that might pop up over there. Try to make this a little bit more interesting, a little more fun. And uh, yeah, hopefully there's more of this to come. I think the next couple of things I'm gonna do are probably gonna be Lego builds. This little camera over here is gonna be great for assembling all the pieces. 
I can do all of my knolling over here, uh, which is going to be a pretty important thing. Well, right. Wasn't that hard? That's about it. Thank you for joining me as I look through the pirate box and seriously, I maybe next time I'll do this on camera. Thanks everybody. Bye.